Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Sendal, which is the tool that I use to sell digital products. Been using it since 2018, um, and I made a video probably earlier this year, um, and I think the video was titled The Most Slept On Tool for Selling Digital Products. Uh, and so lately I've gotten a few questions from customers and uh, followers about both what I use and also why I use it. So why I use Sendout. Um, I started off using Squarespace's uh, digital product uh, feature. And the, the first thing that I ran into was that if we made any changes to the plugin, or, or that's the kind of digital product we're selling, um, there is no way for us to easily uh, send that to our existing customers. So with send out, what we're able to do is anytime there's been a change or we update a product or something, it's very easy to just quickly send out a notification to existing customers uh, so they can get that. Um, another thing that, uh, another one of the reasons why um, I started using send out because some of the marketing features they have but even before we get into the marketing features the ability to customize the checkout so let's pull up one of our plugins here and say we want to buy standard license this is the 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 light boxed checkout that pops up you can see it's powered by sendal um you know you can choose your payment, PayPal, so on. And I customized this with the kind of styling that I wanted. So um, the button and everything, logo, it matches the site. So it feels, you know, it feels native. Um, however, it's not. It's an overlay and it's bypassing the Squarespace checkout. Now, along with that is, I'm not sure if I have it enabled at the moment, but I can do upsells where I can choose a product and um, I can do like an abandoned cart thing where if someone's about to abandon this light box, um, they'll get a pop-up that offers them a discount. Um, if they buy a particular product after payment, they'll see something that pops up that says, hey, do you want this as well? Uh, so those types of features are useful for generating additional sales. Uh, and then another really useful feature has been the built-in affiliate um, functionality. So I don't need uh, another outside affiliate tracking tool. I can just use Sendal to manage all of that. And um, yeah. Oh, and then finally, the last thing is being able to bundle products. So not just um, digital products, but physical products. And you can bundle digital and physical products together. And uh, that was a question that I got recently that prompted me to make this video, um, is to share that and make that clear. Now, before I wrap up, let's check out the pricing real quick. You can get just the basics for $9 a month. So that's up to 10 products, a gigabyte of storage, and you can be selling whatever your digital product is as quickly as that. Now, if you want to use some of the features that I'm talking about, like uh, affiliates, then you might want to get to the standard plan. Um, upsells, then you're going to need the premium plan. Uh, video streaming, this, this seems to be new. I've never used it. I'm going to check it out. Cart abandonment, um, multiple users. If you have multiple users on your team that need to be able to log in, so um, I've been using the business plan for for years, um, but it, it pretty much pays for itself. Um, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> Syncs up with um, Stripe, PayPal. Uh, I've got you know all my pixels in the back end. So Pinterest Pixel, Facebook Pixel, uh, Google Pixel. Everything is tracked. Uh, it's integrated with my Google Analytics, so I could check out my sales in Google Analytics. It's like I said in the video that I made before. It's pretty slept on. Um, I don't hear a lot of marketers talking about it as much. And within my particular niche, um, most people use a bunch of other tools. So um, 
Yeah, so shout out to Sendal. Um, yeah, that's all I got in this video. Peace.